Philo champagne colors. I'm here with, at Kevin Styles' house. Man, this guy been working on this potential vacation home for years. He's like 87% close to completion, and champagne colors is here. You know, we brought him a little gift, and we about to we about to go in here and see what it's about. All right, follow me. Yo, Kevin. Yo. Yo, what's going on, bro? Champagne colors, man. Philo. Kevin Styles, here, yeah, let's go. Welcome, welcome. All right. So you know what we're here for. I got something for you outside. Bro. Hey, y'all seen that lock, though? Oh, you showed them the lock. The auto lock. Oh, shit. We gonna bleep that out. <laughs> All right, but yo, first of all, Introduce the world to who you are. All right, I'm Kevin Styles, entrepreneur. Shit, two years in it, making it happen. That's a fact. Where are we at currently right now? We are in my home in Snellville, Georgia, that I'm transforming from a house that I live in with my family to an Airbnb uh, vacation rental. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so like, how much you pay for this? The house when we bought it was. 225 okay. 225 was it like did you have to negotiate on the price was it like a one shot one kill uh fortunately at the time i was set up i had um decent credit i had yeah. uh, um job history i had all the True. things i needed True. to say to get it at a good price so no, yeah. i was straightforward i had a regular loan and i didn't have to do any special okay. types of loan for it i just i never like okay so the loan you have is like a loan that is it could fluctuate or it could no, just remain no, the same. It's, it's what it is. Um, I'm sure there's this intricacies about it now that COVID and stuff is happening. Bro, I've been listening to the tape, Project 301. That shit is going crazy, dog. So, like, yo, he's next up, bro. I don't know what everybody's saying, but see no rude boy, he next up. It's going to be playing through the entire house. All right, bet, bet, bet. Let's go. Yeah. The whole smart thing set up. That's a fact. That's a fact. In sync. So what, what, show us around, man. Like, where we at? We're in the kitchen. As you see, I got the custom light set up. Eventually, I'm going to have shelves here. Same lights that you see over there. It's going to be right, right here on the shelf. Uh, we got a new LG kitchen set. Gas stove, nice oven. This is what I want to know though. What's up? Who the hell put in those lights though? Because yo, I could yo, if I had a shorty in this crib, <laughs> this would be we would be in here all the time. No cap, you gotta sanitize everything after. Nah, I feel it. I feel it. But nah, I put I put all the lights in. Damn, you did this, all of this yourself? Most of the work I did myself along with my cousin. Damn. You got a glass fridge, bro? That's different. Get you a quick preview of what's inside. Keep it simple. That's different. That's that's different. Living room transformed. It was way different when we got here. 
Okay. <laughs> what was like, what was like, tell us how it was before. Yeah, the red walls, the paint was all different. They put up a nice black wall, some bold. Okay. To represent who we are as people. Bold. Yeah, I feel like so. I feel like a nice black wall. I wanted to go with like colors that felt like like natural and earthy in this room. Okay. So we, have, we got plants, we got flowers, we got the greens, we got the decorations of the trees and the yeah. you know, birds that on top of the fireplace. I, I love the um the way everything is kind of just like each room is like a different world type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So now when it come when it came to doing this, what was like the inspiration behind doing this? Cause not your average person just wakes up and be like, yo, I'ma transform my house into a vacation rental. What was the reasons? Like I gotta know. It was the idea that uh I want to do something different to, to accumulate wealth, man, and land and, own, and ownership. Something that I learned about. I really kind of like, okay, I can do this. I happened to have a house already when I learned about yeah. things. I was like, oh, I can do this. No, that's, that was it. Yo, that's real. Just, hey, that's real. Plan and put it in motion for real. Dang, like, so who you would say, like, is some of the people that inspire you when you see the things that they accomplish in real estate and other things of that nature? I mean, really, honestly, I read... Rich Dad Poor Dad. I read that too. When it comes to real estate and anything else with dads, like, okay, after reading that, I'm like, nah, that's. Life don't have to be as, as difficult as we make it when it comes to making money. True. So that's that's where it started for me. Really, I mean, my family, my immediate family, we don't own a house. Mm -hmm. My mom doesn't own a house. You know, my grandma doesn't own a house. So it's like me being like a homeowner for, for my immediate family is a big thing. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, I, I saw the opportunity to take it even further. Not just well, owning the house, but like, okay, how do I make the house now turn into something that can bring me like longevity, like revenue? Fact. You know, so like, okay, I can do it. So, so do you plan on like buying other homes and starting the same process? Yeah. Like, how many homes do you think you want to acquire by the time you're 45? It's a good question. I don't think there's, there's a limit on it. Okay. I mean, I, I like to move with opportunity. So as there's an opportunity for something to shake, I'm going to go shake it. Okay. You know, it may be one year. I may not have no houses. And maybe I, I can find a property that has three, four dollars on it. And I can turn all three of them into something in the, in the next year. Yeah, true. It could true. be anything. True. So what's more important to you right now? Is it maintaining? Sorry about the couch. I don't want to lean on it too hard. You're straight. You're straight. Is it to purchase properties and obtain financial freedom? Is that financial freedom just for your immediate family and your extended family right now? Or are you doing it to create some type of general, gen, uh, generational wealth for your children and your future children to come? Everything that I do is for my grandchildren. I feel that. Everything. I Everything that. that I know is for my children. Everything I do is for my grandchildren. That's a fact. So it's like, they gonna learn the shit as I learn the shit. And you know, be in the know so that when they get to my age, they way past where I'm at. Right? Yeah, fine. But I know I gotta keep going fine. so they can be past that. So it's like the more I do, I'm just setting the stage. Nah, absolutely. You know, so that when, when they come through, take off, they have my knowledge and they have the stage I set for them. That's a fact. And that's generational wealth. Absolutely. So what are the, some of the things that you think you're gonna instill in them from now up until it's time for you to pass down the throne? The main thing is just uh, self-care, self-awareness, because it start with self. Yes. Things can't get done outside self if self ain't good. Fact. So that's the, that's the main thing. As children, you know, like, they don't want to bog them down with the excess yeah. things from adulthood just yet. Yeah. But the thing that they can learn right now is how to care for themselves in a way in which they can now have moves to make as an adult because they don't True. have all these things coming at them True. that they don't know how to handle. You know, so yeah. that's, that's that's the main thing with them as children, just you know, tending to their needs for real, and not necessarily pushing on the idea of, of wealth per se. Yeah, but pushing on the idea of taking care of yourself, which then wealth is gonna come from part of that. Because you're gonna want to have a certain life for yourself. That's you know, fact. they they gonna have a certain life for themselves. So, so my job is to just have it be where I can provide the most opportunity for that. Absolutely, absolutely. When you thought about the interior design as you started working on the house, what made you come up with the different concepts of each room, like the different feels and stuff like that? Um, really, I go into each room yeah. and just look at it. True, true, the vision, <laughs> whatever you... I look at it and just whatever come to me, I'm like, yo, that would look nice, this color. Yeah. And I just 
I have a book with all the different paint colors in there. Yeah. I just go find the color, and I, it's just, everything is happening like like almost like I'm cooking a meal that I've never made before for the first wow. time. Yeah. So I'm just like looking at each ingredient and what it can do. I'm like, okay, no, nah, I need this in there. I need this in there. And eventually, I have a room when I'm finished. True. True. That makes sense. That makes sense. How? So I understand that you have a significant other. Is it like when it comes to to the design of the house? Is it like a 80 20 on decision making with what's done with the house or is it like a 50 50 type of thing it's a 100 percent, 100 percent type of thing i feel like i respect you know, that we, we come at it from different angles yeah so um a lot of times like i have ideas i bounce yeah. them off of her first and then okay. we'll come up to like a, a solid idea together true or true. she have an idea she bounce it off of me then we have a solid idea that may be different or the same yeah but it's, it's usually the, the ending idea is what happens after we brainstorm together. I get it. Teamwork make the dream work. Yep. Now that's cool. That's cool. And just by the how the house look, you got a good one. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you like this says it all. This, yeah. this was the the builder's house. So the the house that the other houses in the yeah. neighborhood is modeled from. Oh wow! Is, wow. You know, this is like the like the the standard, if you will, in the, okay. in the neighborhood. So if you had a chance to like call this house something, it don't have to be a permanent name. What would you call it? Well, I like the colors. So I've been thinking of a few things. We can keep walking if you, All right, if you want. Turn off these lights, you check out the other small lights I have in here. Yo, that look crazy. So, where are we So at? far, the name we came up with was Pegasus. Okay. Because uh, I'm sure he likes the, the unicorn with the wings. She likes wings though. So okay, okay, that's not cool. that It wasn't just a unicorn, but the Pegasus. It's the upstairs area. Everything's still a work in progress. As you can see, we got stuff all over the place. Yeah, like, yo, this dude got all his tools and all. Like, this was crazy. Uh, yo, he did this himself. I can't stress, yo, I can't stress that enough. just painted the hallways not too long ago. Starting to stage the room. Last time you was here was a different bedroom. So you can check out this room right here. I bet. One of the rooms that's going to be available. We had a twin in here. We put a full in here. Okay. Okay, so just the only change we made from the last time you was here. It's still just work in progress. Got to put different light switches in here. Hide the TV for the, for the wires. Got the carpet cleaned up. We repaired the AC upstairs. So I got to now paint the ceiling. Damn. Second room here. <clears throat> okay. I got another question. What's up? Is this a 420 friendly house? Uh, not inside. Okay. Okay, just outside smoking only. Outside smoking only. I can't say 420 or not. I can just say outside smoking only. Okay, okay. I think that's respectable. If you book in this crib, you can only smoke outside. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah. And this is what we created recently. So this has happened yesterday, last night. And it's been rearranged since I took the shelf down. That's, that one's still up halfway. Wow. My boy Cino told me I should put three beds in here. I had, it was two beds. So I, I messed up this area over here to have two beds now. Okay, that's Instead cool. A nice little scene with TVs, and then we're gonna get a separate spot for over here. So, like, what's like? As you see, like the colors are all bright and, and vibrant up against like the black for the contrast. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So you get that nice bold feel. So let me ask you this. If somebody will book this rental, how many people comfortably can reside in here for a short stay? No compromises, no problems at all. When it's complete, seven, eight people. It'll be seven, eight beds in. Wow. And you know, beds can fit multiple people, so I'm sure you know, king size yeah, bed. Yeah. If you want two or three. So if you get people from my neck of the woods, you want you want to expect three times that number to be coming through. Maybe. You, you walk in here or see on the camera, people gonna be sleeping on the floor and all that. So, this is definitely a spot to come out to and be near the city, but not too far away from the city, not too close to the city. Bathroom still in progress. Still in progress. You got the vanity to put back in, so right now it's just empty in there. It's nothing, nothing there for it. But that just got painted. We got new knobs to go for it. It's gonna be a complete, complete renovation in there. And so. And my cousin is the one doing that. That's his, that's his project completely. 
This room right now is currently unavailable. Okay. But it will be soon. It will be soon. We have a, a secondary screen, but I'll show you that next time. Alright, that's cool. Yo, Styles, man. Yo, you, yo, this guy hooked this crib up, no cap. Working on it, man. Yo, Still let yo, dog. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I live not too far from here. Okay. And I'm thinking about booking this crib to just Look have, it. just just be here. Look at man. You know what I'm saying? That's, I feel comfortable already, like. Look at when it's ready, it's gonna be an outdoor space that we setting up. Okay. It's gonna be nice. Damn, that's <laughs> it's crazy. It's gonna be that's nice. That's crazy. I'm, I'm waiting for this to be finished. That's, so literally, I'm, I'm gonna have three separate rental opportunities okay. for this property. Okay. So we got the interior of the house. Yeah. I'm setting up a glamping type of experience for outside. Okay. That includes an outdoor bathroom, shower, fire pit, the whole thing. Okay. Possibly even a, a projector screen and a projector. Like this is gonna be dope. That would, <laughs> this is gonna be dope. That would be and cool. then of course I have a basement space. I'll show you next time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So how many bedrooms do you think may be in the basement? Two. Hey. Right now I set with two. It's a full kitchen down there. It's a full bathroom with separate shower, separate tub. It's it's dope. It has a, a garage that opens up there. It looks out into where the fire pit is gonna be. Wow, at. damn. Huh? Well, that's it's nice, man. Yo, it's a work in progress, man. Still working on it. On, that, on behalf of Champagne Colors, I got something for you, bro. Cause I've been watching you, dog. You think I don't know if you think I haven't been watching? I've been watching, dog. All right. And yo. I really respect what you're doing. You remind me of my grandfather, dog. Right. Yo, that's no cap. I appreciate that. Yo, but, bro, where you put the champagne? Uh, yo, man, so where we gonna pop this at, man? Yo. All right, back. let's go. I got just the place. Oh, shit. We gonna bleep that out. I got just the place, man. So look, this is gonna be the, this is the start of it. The outdoor area, so we got okay. the bed, we're gonna put some turf down. Okay, that's gonna be hard. So it's gonna be like grass at the bottom. You got your oh, that's grill gonna if be you cool. wanna cook. We're gonna have a seating area, you can sit and smoke if you true, wanna smoke. True, true, we're gonna true. have a fire pit down there, we can sit and smoke if you wanna smoke with a bathroom, that way that you walk a nice little path. At least that's how I have it played on my head for now. Okay. It don't happen in real time though, so. All right, that's cool. Well, let's... yo, again, Go we'll get that Project 301. Go see this episode of Champagne Colors in the building. Philo! Alright, if I could just get this shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna cut that out. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Champagne Colors, man.